there. What do occupational therapists have to do with grab bars? Heck, what's an occupational therapist in the first place? Find out those questions and more today on Toilet Talk. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes to their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime. And today I'm going to talk about what occupational therapists have to do with grab bars. But first, let's define occupational therapy. Yeah. Occupational therapy helps get you back to doing the things that occupy your time, like going to the bathroom and getting dressed. We help you get back to doing the things you need and want to do at home. I had a former patient tell me before that we help people do the ings in life, like the toileting or showering, all of the things. <laughs> On behalf of all occupational therapists, I'm just going to say that we love grab bars because we know that they help you stay safe and independently take care of yourself in the bathroom. Are you starting to see why I'm obsessed with making sure everyone has access to good looking grab bars? We want you to stay safe in your bathroom and live at home for a lifetime. As an occupational therapist, I'm here to let you know that occupational therapists are so well equipped to help people with customizing where they put grab bars in their bathroom. That's because we assess your abilities and strengths and work together with you to decide on the best grab bar placement next to your toilet and your shower. Occupational therapists understand how important and meaningful it is for people to toilet and shower in privacy. We're happy to help you set up your bathroom in the best way that fits your unique needs. You may be asking, so how do I know when I need an occupational therapist to come help me customize my grab bar placement? Well, there are several factors that can help you decide. One factor is that if you have more than one person in your household, and if you're a caregiver to someone in your family, it'd be really good to have an occupational therapist come in to help you determine where grab bar should go in the bathroom. Another factor is if you have an arm condition that was caused by injury, illness, or even wear and tear. And lastly, it'd be good to bring an occupational therapist on board if you have multiple chronic conditions or even medical conditions like Parkinson's, dementia, or even congenital conditions like cerebral palsy. For all of those circumstances, it's a really good idea to have an occupational therapist come help customize grab bar placement so you can be safe in your bathroom. Now, the thing is, most of us occupational therapists don't swing the hammer and install grab bars in the bathroom. That's what contractors are for. The good news is that occupational therapists love collaborating with other professionals. I've worked with multiple contractors and it's always a joy to see them put their skills to use because you don't want me putting anything straight. <laughs> I made a video on tips to find the right contractor to install grab bars in your bathroom. I'll put the link in the description box below if you're in need of that. All right, all right, all right. I've sold you on the fact that you need an occupational therapist to help customize your grab bar placements in the bathroom. So now you're wondering, well, how do I find an occupational therapist? I've got four tips for you to do that. But first, I would love to ask if you are having fun with me, please go ahead and subscribe below to the Toilet Talk channel. Make sure to hit the notifications button so you never miss a video in the future. Now, let's get back to those tips. Tip number one is, if you are already receiving occupational therapy services, ask your occupational therapist if they can help you with grab bar placement. This works out really well if you're seeing an occupational therapist in home health or outpatient. Now, sometimes occupational therapists don't specialize in putting grab bars next to the toilet, so they may refer you to somebody else to contact, and that's okay. I mean, if you're already having occupational therapy services, 
it sure doesn't hurt to ask if they can help you figure out where to put your grab bars in your bathroom. All right, tip number two is to go ahead and get on your computer, pull up the Google or Bing or whatever you use, and type home modifications, occupational therapy, followed by your city and the state that you live in. Now, there may be independent occupational therapists who have their own companies, and sometimes they do work with contractors. They both come into your home, take a look at you, take a look at the bathroom, and then they'll work with you on customizing your grab bar placement. Honestly, this is one of the best ways to go. This will make it so much easier to have somebody who can pretty much come in with all the services that you need at once. Sadly, you won't find home modification occupational therapists in every city and state, but it sure doesn't hurt to see if there are any located near you. Okay. Tip number three is to contact your local county senior services program. Sometimes the county senior services programs have recommendations to find occupational therapists. They can also um, help refer you to social workers who may know of an occupational therapist. You could also contact independent living programs or while prevention programs who may have a list of resources or occupational therapy services to help you with your grab bar placement. Tip number four is to ask your primary care provider. Now your primary care doctor, nurse practitioner, whoever it is, they're going to be able to write a referral for occupational therapy services to customize grab bar placement in your home. That's because your primary care provider cares if you fall at home. It's very, very bad. So they're more than willing to give you any kind of service that will help you figure out how to be safer in your bathroom. Sometimes primary care providers have social workers in their offices, and so it would be really good to contact that social worker as well to see if they have any referrals for local occupational therapists who can help you in your home. Plus, if you have a doctor's order, insurance is more likely to pay for those services, so it's less money uh, coming from your wallet. All right, you're ready for an occupational therapist to help you customize your grab bar placement. So to find them, you're going to ask an occupational therapist if you're already receiving services. You're going to go on the internet and Google home modifications, occupational therapy, city and state. You are going to ask your local county senior services programs, independent living programs, or fall prevention programs. And you also have the choice to ask your doctor or primary care provider for an order for an occupational therapist to come on out to your home and help you with those grab bars. Remember, occupational therapists, we don't really install the grab bars. Contractors are so much better at making sure they're secure, but we are really good at making sure that grab bars are in the correct spot for you. Are you ready to dream up your beautiful bathroom? Please go to toilettalk.me and go to Bathroom Solutions. There you can find a whole range of different grab bars that can match your bathroom aesthetic. Remember, we don't want you to feel like you're living in a nursing home. I want to thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time on Toilet Talk. Bye bye.